Welcome to Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023, a national education and innovation competition. We're looking for 16 to 22 year olds with a bright idea and a passion to change the world. And today we are meeting two more of our top 10 teams. But Mangalam, first I have a question for you. Ask away. <laughs> Well, we've been talking a lot about problem solving, so I want to know what's your approach to problem solving? Wow, Mridu, you know me. I mean, I think I'm an out-of-the-box thinker, so I guess looking at a problem from a fresh perspective is what I'd do. All right, that's very interesting. That's exactly what our teams have also done, and they took an existing system and made it better with their innovations. This first team of three from Delhi has developed an app to prevent kidnappings and transform the way they are investigated. On a very noble mission, here's Team Milan. Yash, one of our team members, heard about this incident in his society where a child went missing and nobody had a good way of finding him and everyone was so confused. I felt I needed to do something. Like somebody has to make a difference. So we thought we should do something about it. All three of us came together to come up with a solution. We thought of multiple ideas and one of them was creating a website. But then we realized that there was a gap. After that, we tried facial recognition. With this, our idea came into existence. Everyone has mobile phones in our pockets. We can use our application, which is scalable more than a website. And we worked on it, and finally, we arrived at the final idea, and I am personally very proud of it. I was amazed how hard they worked on it, and I was even inspired how they came out of their shell to work on it. And in this journey, I even supported and helped them uh, in facing and tackling the solution. Basically, in college, everyone like focus on their studies, on their grades, but these people came up with an idea. They are setting a benchmark for us, and I feel great to be in with them. We built the app and the bond which we never thought of. We came this far, but this is not the end. And we will be going even further. Our next team from the top 10 is Demeter from Irnakulam, Kerala. They're using cutting edge technology to make agriculture more precise and data driven. I'm from an agricultural background. As my uncle is a farmer, I have seen many problems which farmers are facing. In India, the farmers are facing a real problems, real problems of lack of labor. In my childhood, I was unable to help my uncle with my resources and my knowledge also. When I reached my college, I was introduced with technology and also met these friends. So we made a team. Pratik came with an idea to implement the drone-based solution for farmers. He also told the problems faced by farmers. When we decided to use the drone to spray pesticides, we realized that it was too small and we had to build a new prototype. Prithvi, Jasbir and Ashim, they've always been keen to solve practical problems. The first prototype they had made was in the third year of their undergraduate program in robotics and automation. So we're very happy that they were able to you know, proceed to this level, keeping on refining their product. Ever since so we accepted their project, we have seen that we have noticed that the students have been working really hard and very sincerely for completing their prototype. They came up with a very good model and then and now we are very happy that they have reached this particular stage. I am glad that this happened because I gained confidence from it. We developed something and also found friends for life. We are sure that we will be flying high with great spirit. We have to make something innovative and helpful for the people in the India. So we made a drone, which is capable of finding diseases in the crops and can also spray pesticides 
for this infestation by the pests. And that's Team Milan. And that is Team Demeter. Welcome Utkarsh, Rakshit and Yash. Uh, thank you for joining us on the show. We saw that video, rather innovative, your idea. Can you tell us a little more about it? I mean, uh, does it work with existing systems? Milan is essentially a facial recognition driven app. In three minutes, your child can go up to 200 meters away from your home. Or in two hours, you can just reach from Delhi to Bangalore. So there's nothing any, you know, there's nothing aiding for that solution. And that's where our Milan app sits. So that's very interesting, but tell me what could be some of the big challenges when you actually implement this on ground? So we know parents are very protective about their children when it's come to their safety. So our application stands as a superhero that will help them to c control their anxiety in this time of need. So our first challenge is to gain the trust of the parents. That we are doing it through regular updates on our applications. And secondly, we know the, how great the diversity in India. So to tackle that diversity, to train a machine learning model, it is quite a challenge for us. And we will be definitely doing it through our dedication, passion, and finally, the grand prize of Samsung. Solve for tomorrow. <laughs> no, I, I, you can't take your eyes away from that grand prize itself. But uh, the big question is regulatory challenges. I mean, are there any regulatory obstacles that uh, there could be in this innovation? As we all know, that facial recognition technology in itself is a sensational topic. Like parents, especially for the children, are very much concerned about their safety and privacy online. So with our app, we are aiming to provide them with the utmost amount of privacy and security. So the parents need not worry about their children's privacy online. All right, taking it from there, we now have team Demeter. How are you guys doing? Fine. Good. Good? Yeah. All right, so tell us a little bit about what you are doing differently. How are you different from competition? Utilizing artificial intelligence and machine learning, our product finds the diseases in the plants by analyzing the images. So after that, it enables the precise pesticide spraying. This is how our product sets us apart from the others in the competition. It's an interesting idea. Have you tested it on the ground in reality? And what were your learnings from that? Absolutely, we have done multiple test runs, but initially we were facing some problems, mm -hmm. but gradually we reached an efficiency level around 80%. Great, so absolutely incredible idea, but uh, tell me, how are you all planning to sell this to the agricultural community? Any interest so far from them? Yeah, uh, our product uh, basically minimizes the use of the chemicals in the fields, mm -hmm. and which will be more helpful for the crop productivity and it will be a better or safe environment and we aim to bring the farmer community closer to this advanced technology and moreover uh, our user-friendly interface which we built will make this innovation more closer to the farmers so we are here for the farmers you've impressed me i wish i was a farmer just because of your innovative idea but you know both uh, Team Milan and Demeter have impressed me so much that I can't wait to actually have a look at the innovations that got them here. Absolutely. On that note, we are going to head into a short break right now. But after that, the solvers will show us exactly how their ideas work in real time. Stay with us on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. Welcome back, you're watching us here on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. We're on our way to an exciting grand finale where the top 10 teams will battle it out in just a few weeks from now. Today, we have two of those really creative teams with us. And it's time to hand over this space to them, Ridhu. Absolutely. Well, solvers, we are very excited to see your prototypes. But wouldn't it be even more exciting if we had your mentors here? Yeah. Well, the experts from Samsung who mentored our teams through the selection process are here virtually to cheer them on. Team Milan's mentor is Vipul Singla from the Visual Display e-commerce sales at Samsung. He's an expert on the business side of things and to get past him, the idea should have vision and it should also be viable. Team Demeter's mentor is Sanchit Kaushal from Cloud Computing Architecture at Samsung. He believes that ideas have the power to change the future and he was on the lookout for ones that have a vast reach. Welcome to Solve for Tomorrow, Mentors. Hi, I'm Ridhu and Mangalam. So nice to be here. Hi, I'm Ridhu. Hi, Mangalam. Thanks for having me here. So 
So let's start. First on the stage is Team Milan. They're showcasing a worthy solution which will help families find their missing children. Team Milan, please show us how your app works. We're solving a bigger problem of uniting missing children with their parents as soon as possible. We're launching with two products. Our flagship product is the Milan app, which uses facial recognition technology to scan a face of a child and make a server-based call to see if they're actually missing or not. We've also integrated a sign-up feature where parents can sign up their child and make them safe. So we have a second product here. We named it GeoFit. As the name suggests, it is essentially a tracking device. We are initially planning to implement it for children. So let's talk about a prototype. It is a GPS module, which is currently fetching the coordinates of this location. And through a microcontroller, it is sending the coordinates to our servers through a GSM signal. And it is received by our application through API calls and they all work seamlessly for the better cause. With our app and GeoFit line of products, we aim to provide security and peace of mind to each and every parent. Also, our innovation is not only for children, but we wish to expand it for pe elderly people who are suffering from Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. So let's now go to the mentors and get their feedback. Whipple, what drew you to Milan's idea? So first of all, I'm very touched by uh, the kind of problem they are attempting to solve. Uh, this is a very noble cause. Uh, the idea of uniting missing children with their parents is an extremely noble cause and I relate with that, I resonate with that. The current uh, solutions in the marketplace are very rudimentary and time consuming. Sometimes it takes years for a child to reunite with their parents. So Team Milan is focusing on technology and is trying to develop an innovative solution to make this uh, approach, to make this solution more efficient and uh, faster. Right, absolutely. And Vipul, which are the areas that you think they can work on as they make it to the grand finale? In my opinion, the entire ecosystem needs to come together, like the police, the NGOs, the government bodies. Also, the training uh, of these officials, the police, the NGOs, to how to use this app properly and effectively will be a major deciding factor. And uh, the team, in my opinion, should also focus on avoiding the misuse of this app, as it is a very sensitive matter that we are dealing with here right now. That's for the entire ecosystem. But uh, Vipul, would you like to leave your team with a message? Team Milan, you have chosen a very relevant problem. The child means the word for their parents. May you succeed, give it your best shot. Uh, the stage does, just does not get bigger than this. All the very best. A lot of encouragement coming in from your mentor team. All the best, and now it's Team Demeter's turn. It is Team Demeter's turn, and their innovation uses technology to make more precise decisions in farming. Come on, Demeter, show us how your prototype works. This is Demeter. We built it as a complete solution for farmers. We have seen many problems which farmers are facing, just like pesticide poisoning, lack of labor, and insufficient technology for finding the diseases in the plants. So, we made Demeter. The Demeter is a hexacopter which can be used to find the diseases in the plants and can spray pesticide according to the disease. The Demeter is having a tank capacity of 5 litres and having a battery backup of nearly 20 minutes and it can spray acres of land in just minutes. Wonderful. Since we are having many competitors in the market, we managed to implement as much as technology possible in this single product which will be more helpful for the farmers. Our product costs almost around 150,000 to 2 lakh rupees. So this product will be helpful for the farmers from the small scale to the large scale. Well, I'm absolutely delighted by both these uh, product demonstrations. I wonder what the mentors would have thought about it as well. Sanjit, what do you think makes this a strong idea? So the team's idea is around precision agriculture. And I think when it is implemented properly, it will give a boost to agriculture output as well as ease of management in farming. Right, absolutely. And how can they improve upon the idea as they approach the grand finale? So I always believe that ideas can be coarse, but the implementation should always be thought out. So I will suggest that instead of normal image processing, they should go with color infrared, which will help them find that same details in more weathers across India. That's an insightful suggestion, but uh, any final thoughts that you would like to leave your team with, Sanjit? Thanks, Team Demeter. Thanks for being part of the solution. 
we have put a step forward. Now let's fly to the conclusion. Let's fly to the conclusion. What a wonderful message that came in from Sanchit. I'm sure both of the teams will take it on board as well, Bridu. Absolutely, Mangalam. Clearly, the teams have a lot to think about before the grand finale. For now, let's have a little fun with them in our absolutely new segment, Solve for Today. Keep watching to see who wins. We're back with Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. The teams have had a big day today presenting their ideas on national television. Some fierce competition awaits them in the grand finale too. It does and you know what Mridu, let's lighten things up a bit with our new segment Solve for Today. Teams, we'll ask you a few questions. The key is you have to keep it funny. The funniest answer wins. All right, we'll start with Team Milan. Absolutely. Okay, so who's the laziest amongst you three? Hey, he is. He's okay. the it's unanimous, unanimously, unanimously deciding. <laughs> I'm the problem. Between the three of you, <laughs> who takes charge under pressure? Oh. Him? Maybe me. Oh, yes, okay. Probably. Okay. We don't take charge, but him. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one left. <laughs> okay, he's lazy, so is he the one also reaching the team meetings last? Or is, there, is that... We don't have meetings. We don't have meetings. We don't have meetings. So what do you call you them? What do you call them? Eatings? Yeah, <laughs> eating is <laughs> <fun. laughs> Right, and let, let, let's ask these guys then. Um, what do you think, uh, if there are three of y'all, two of y'all gang up on one, who's that one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so both of you all pull his leg the most. Yeah. Always ganging up on Abdul, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and who amongst you is always on the phone? Him. <laughs> no? Everyone. <laughs> ganging up. <laughs> All of us. Yeah. Which habit of yours annoys both of them? Negativity. Yeah. Sleeping. Sleeping person. Sleeping. Sleeping. Always sleeping. <laughs> Always spreading negativity. <laughs> Always spreading negativity. Yeah. yeah. And any habit of his that annoys you? Too much positivity. Too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm the All right, so that was a lot of fun. No winners on this one. Uh, all of you were very funny, but uh, all our best wishes to both the teams as you move ahead and continue to solve these problems for tomorrow. Team Milan and Demeter, we are absolutely excited to see you in the grand finale a few weeks from now where you'll be competing with the rest of the top 10. Only three will emerge as the final winners, but we wish all of you the very best. Wish you all the best, gentlemen. And next week, we will meet two more teams of solvers. What are they looking to solve? We're all keen to find out. So we'll see you again next week on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. Welcome to the show, guys. Your biogas plant is made from waste materials. Millions of parts that we use that are disposed of every year in our country. Team NIT from Surat. We are robot has starting a collection mechanism. Now, we can all sit back, have some fun. Hotspot's password is the password. Hai. <laughs>